Hey, hey, Queen City Gaming fans. Welcome back, folks. Today, guys, we have a brand new game on the channel. So this is Conquest, the last the last argument of kings with some fantastic box art. Now, my box came a little damaged. It has a little chip right here. So we'll see what that does. But I just got this from the post office. This is from a uh, group called... Uh, Parabellum Wargaming. It's been out for a couple months now, and it's actually a really, really cool rank and file game. Uh, so in our starter set, guys, we kind of get the Hundred Kingdoms, uh, which are like our human faction, and then the Spire, which are weird space elf biomancer, really cool, like lore-wise um, army, which I'm super excited about. Um, so let's kind of open this box up. Now this is the starter set for the game. It retails for uh, online at the Parabellum website for $99. Now guys, uh, if you buy currently, this is um, the end of September in 2020. I know, crazy year. But in the end of 2020, they are doing a deal to where if you buy the starter set, you get two bonus units free which is like a $70 value. So really, you're getting a huge starter bundle for that money. So check it out if you're interested. I'll actually put a link down below for their web's cart. Um, so let's get this open. Let's uh, take our little block out. Now, I've had to zoom, like, way out <laughs> to be able... All right, come on, box open. <laughs> um, to be able to just fit the box in here. I mean, this box is huge. And the good news is, it looks like the um, the little hole I had here in the box didn't affect anything inside, which is good news. So you do get a rules manual in here. Now, guys, these rules are kind of a little out of date, though. Um, they have updated rules online on their website, which are free, but it's still a cool book to have. All right, you get a set of activation cards, which we'll go over here in a minute. Um, you get uh, three, six, nine... 12 red dice, which are pretty cool. And then you get a mountain of sprues, guys. So you get a ton of models in this game, which is fantastic. So let's go over some of these sprues. Uh, this looks to be the Household Knight units, which are part of the uh, 100 Kingdoms. So in this box, and guys, each one of these frames is one knight. So these models are huge. I mean, take a look at that horse compared to my palm. These are going to be some fantastic minis once they're put together. All right. Up next, let's see here. This is part of the Abominate. It's like a big monster thing for the um, Spire. So if we look at the head here, guys, lore-wise, this is like a political prisoner in here, and it's the prisoner goes like mad within the Abominate, causing it to go even crazier. So, super cool. Uh, oh, here are our characters. So, what's unique in this is you actually get six objective markers that are actually like really nice, raised, very well done um, objectives. You know, three for Spire, three for the uh, Hundred Kingdoms. You get the Pharomancer. So, he's a wizard for the Spire, but they don't really use magic. Instead, this guy uses like pheromones and all different types of stuff to biologically control the uh, spire forces. So he's actually a pretty cool model. And the only way you could get him is in the starter set currently. And then we have the mounted noble lord for the uh, hundred kingdoms. So he is a exclusive model to the starter set as well. And I mean, he's on a big horse. Usually you put him with your knights and he's actually a pretty big beat stick of a character, which is pretty neat. All right, let me keep everything in frame. Why not? All right, next up, guys, these are the 100 Kingdom, um, what are they called? Like, Minute Arms or something? Or Yeah, Minute Arms or something like that. But they're kind of like your medium rank and file troops with some really hefty, cool shields. Uh, you actually get 24 of these models in this box, so it's a really good deal for that. And they come on one uh, four spurs. All right. You get 12 of these crossbowmen, which are actually pretty darn cool little models. Uh, the one thing I will say is these sprues are very, very spread out, and you don't get a ton of, like, extra parts in these, just to give y'all a heads up. Uh, next up are our force-grown drones, <laughs> okay? So, um, these are kind of like the base troop for Spire. They're their light infantry, so these are just, like, vat-born creatures. 
that are meant to live for a couple of days. They're thrown out of the vats, given some weapons. They go out there and kind of fight, and then they just die. <laughs> um, you can also sacrifice them to activate some abilities uh, with the Ferromancer, and they have a rule called degradation to where these guys just kind of fall over and die. So it's actually really interesting. Lore-wise, they don't have uh, immune systems. <laughs> so they wrap themselves in like antiseptic bandages and stuff to try and extend their life by a day or two. But you get uh, 24 of these guys, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow. They're actually on eight frames, it looks like. Which is crazy for these double frames. So that's pretty, pretty crazy. All right. And then we have more abominate sprues these are actually some really cool detailed models and i think the spire are really going to take contrast paint really well if you're a big contrast painter um and then we have the brutes these are like just big ogre monstery spire creatures that just kind of bludgeon you to death with these like blades and just maces and i mean look at that that's so cool such good detail so super cool little mini now um this is a rank and file game, so you do get what are called um, stands. So a stand can vary, like these are four, this is a stand for four infantry models, and then this is the stand for the Abominate, <laughs> right, which is a big monster. And then they come with bases to put the models on, and then this, yeah, let's do that. So then the base goes into the stand. And if it's your rank infantry, you can just pull the bases out. And then after you take four casualties, you just remove the stand. So pretty, pretty beefy kit. You get, I mean, guys, there's a bunch of those in there, which is super cool. Alrighty. Now, um, let's go over these cards. So this is one of the unique aspects of this game, which kind of sets it apart to where this is like an activation deck. So each unit has cards right and it also has profiles and stuff on there for the uh, units and if you go on the some of them will have like QR codes you can scan that goes to instructions online and these are um, artifacts and stuff you can take on your guys so yeah so in the game Nothing starts on the table. You kind of come in from reserve. Okay, so when we look at these cards, guys, and sorry about the little pause there, um, you have your unit profiles on them. Now, some of these profiles may have been updated, especially if you see points or anything listed on there. But when units come on, they come out of reserve. Uh, usually you start with your light forces, like your force-grown drones, and then go to your mediums, like your brutes, and then your heavies, like your abomination. Um, and characters get attached into units as well. So every turn you build kind of a hand and it's the way you activate your army. So you'll put these in order in which they activate and before the turn starts and then you'll kind of set it on the table and you draw these cards every time it's your turn and that's the unit you activate. So in this case, I would have to activate a force grown drone unit, okay? And then characters activate some characters have what are called draw events to where if you draw the card from your uh, deck you automatically resolve that event so the, the ferromancer actually has a draw event where he can heal models around him and do different things now when you draw the character you just do the character's abilities like casting spells using supremacy abilities things like that um, you don't actually like attack he attacks with the unit he's attached to all right and then you would draw your next one, which in this case would be the Brutes. And then after that, you do the Abomination. So it's a really unique mechanic, and you really have to think a couple turns out. Because if I'm drawing this, and, you know, I activate my Force Grown Drones, and I activate my Ferromancer, and then, up, oh, I pull up my Brutes, but my opponent's Knights just charged in and killed all my Brutes, then I just don't get to activate anything that turn. And my opponent gets to activate again. <laughs> and then I had to activate my abomination afterwards. So you really have to pay attention to your draw hand because these cards are actually very, very, very important. So guys, that is it. That's a ton of plastic <laughs> for um, <laughs> for $100. <laughs> um, so guys, if you like this game, go check out Parabellum Wargaming. 
They're fantastic. They have some free content up for this game too. So they have uh, free lore videos, free rules for basically everything. For the factions themselves, for the gen uh, main rules, and all that cool stuff. And there's actually a really, really good um, Discord server online for this too. So check that out. Uh, just join us on Facebook and then you can get a Discord server um, invite. So guys, we're going to start featuring this on the channel. I'm going to be playing the Hunter Kingdom. Derek's going to be doing the uh, the Spire. And then we'll also probably do a Studio Spire Army just so I can uh, show it off at different stores and things to grow the community. Now guys, if you're interested in this game, Parabellum Wargaming's uh, web store has a fantastic deal on this to where you buy the starter set with all this in it. And then you actually get... Um, let me pull them out right here. These are like a $70 value, guys. You get these guys, which are the Marksman clones. You get 12 of them in a box, and you get a box of the Steel Legion. So you get a ton of models, and we're actually going to unbox these separately, but you get a ton of stuff in this kit just for $100, and they actually shipped really, really fast, too. So, guys, if you like it, check it out. Tell them I sent you, um, and... Just give it a go, guys. It's a great set. Tons of minis. And, guys, these are, like, big minis, too. If you're tired of, like, painting little stuff, like Games Workshop models, this is a fantastic game for you. These models are going to love contrast paint, and they're going to be super easy to get up to a really, really good standard. So, guys, come back. Uh, we're going to unbox some of the Marksman clones and the Steel Legion, and we're also going to unbox some of the characters they have, too. And uh, we'll probably do some sit-build chats where we actually go through it and build some of this stuff. Alrighty, guys. I want to thank you for joining me here at Queen City Gaming, folks. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Queen City Gaming, signing out.